have Naki here, Naki Akrobato, and she just finished speaking. She's a spoken word performing artist, and she just finished speaking about power of poetry. So she's going to give us a brief summary about what she spoke about. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so I spoke about the power of poetry and how my recent experiences here to Ghana to teach poetry workshops to young kids um, really inspired me and allowed me to kind of walk in my purpose, but most importantly to rethink about how we see and view Ghana. You know, Ghana is more than just the negative and the, you know, corruption and poverty. Ghana has a lot of beautiful attributes to it. And so through my experiences, I wrote a poem that I wrote for Ghana. And so the poem talks about the positive sides of Ghana, I should say. I mean, I think it talks about both. It speaks about it's, to me, it shows the beauty and the reality of like, you know, your, your potholes and paved roads, your, you know, your, your both Muslim and Christian and no religion at all. Like, there's so much beauty in this country. And I think, you know, life, we should focus on the positive and not just the negative or using the negative as a means to leverage ourselves and to grow. And so I just, I get that a lot from people like, why do you want to go back to Ghana? Why do you want to, you know, it's home to me. And that's what the poem is about. Um, it has a beautiful story and it's about telling a story through your life, through your life experiences, so. That's wonderful. So um, how would you probably encourage the young ones uh, on how to concentrate more on the positive sides of things and then rather not on the negative? I think the truth of the matter is, is that you have to, and I talk about this in the talk, is that you have to know who you are and there's always gonna be something or someone to come up and tell you that you can't do something. And there's always gonna be obstacles. I think that's the nature of life, but realizing there's always a beautiful balance to it. And that, you know, you have to live your personal truth. Everybody's living their life and you have to live your own life. That's what God created us for. That's wonderful. So what's your take back? Um, this has been an amazing, exhilarating experiences, even with all the challenges, you know, um, I think this showed me about my ability to overcome and persevere and I think I want to just shout out the TEDx team because it was an amazing experience you know to travel overseas and to do this experience is a lot of pressure but everybody made me feel at home and comfortable. Ghana is home so Ghana's home. Uh, thank you so much.